Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Baboa run where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with nothing but rookies. It is again not a matter of how hard you can punch but how much you can take and uh, still get up something along those lines. Operation Iron, a prophecy is upon us. We've got to destroy an alien relay and uh, I chose it because uh, number one um, it yields us an engineer which in the long term I think is more valuable than the intel might be wrong but uh, it's more a long term play I am still confident in our ability to get to the next facility and it is difficult and, uh, instead of very difficult which makes a difference because we need to go in with two lightly wounded uh, units Steve and Roby are going to pair up and I figure I will just uh, customize the soldier because I don't have any uh, colors uh, in terms of classes anyways. Might as well uh, color code them to be, uh, to be one color uh, for a bond. So we got the red team with uh, Roby and Divert and we got kind of the gr dark greenish team with Axe and Shinrod here two times blue screen rounds because I felt uh, we needed a bit more oomph against the mechanical units, two times uh, the tracer rounds for extra extra accuracy, two times heavy weapons, two times mimic beacons. Pretty kind of standard classical layout I would say at this point. Um, we might be able to kind of um, hand in one of uh, the ammunitions in exchange for a med kit of sorts but for now I think this is the best uh, we can field so let's see how well I can do and uh, let's get it going and we just landed so let's give it a go got that relay right there and we are of course starting in low ground not optimal might as well want to see how we're going to deal with that moving out we've got a hostile squad here okay well didn't seem like that would be triggering But there is a hostile squad up there, right? Solid copy. Ten four. Good leaving. Double time. Most of the stuff open. Um, one person in the open, the rest up in full cover. And well, since we have very little time, it's really a matter of seeing if we can engage with these enemies right away. I've seen a viper. There might be more. Done. Viper typically is not a pack by itself. We're moving. On a hostile patrol. It's a second pack on top. Oh, okay. Can't really get up here, but we can. Because we potentially should position ourselves up there. Good. X on my way. is bond mate is gonna go there and Kivat is going to go there so we do have a nice little pincer movement going two overwatches and let's see what the enemies are going to do it's just getting better and better Okay. The trick here will be to have single packs pulled. There were two stun lances. Uh, so something something odd is is going on. There must be an, uh, yet another pack. Orders confirmed. 
Order. Moving up. Moving to designated position. Yeah, I really don't want to stay here. Good position over here, but that's in the open. Good enough to throw Mimic Beacon if need be. Aye, aye. And close enough to get up next turn or take a shot if needed. Good. The main thing now is killing that codex right away. 100%, 99% is good enough. And let's do one overwatch with axe. Minimum damage. Uh, so super frustrating. Okay, we need to get the Mimic Beacon. I'm not seeing any other way out of this mess. No longer a threat. But the Mimic Beacon also wouldn't reach uh, them, which is yet another problem. And there's a final problem. This pack here, Mimic Beacon would trigger another pack. However, what we can do is... Am I really going to Mimic Beacon for two sectors? I think the answer is no. Teamwork seems wasted. We need that for harder turns. Let's try to get one of them down. Yeah, and we're going to get definitely a Psionic Bomb, which will cost us momentum, but... It's a deliberate decision at this point, and also very unfortunate um, set of events, really. <laughs> okay, well, he missed. I was fully ready for, like, five points of damage. Look at all of the momentum that we lost. Unbelievable. Locked and loaded. Well, at least Obsessive Reloader is now out of the way. Question is, are we going to use this here in order to kill? The answer is potentially yes. But first... Let's get out of the explosion. No need to take any unnecessary damage. Not a perfect position, but one that at least does not trigger another pack. So 50-50 here, half cover. All right, didn't work out, but that's still fine. I think we're going to trade in the one teamwork to kill the Codex. Not a perfect utilization of, of uh, time. That's an important cooldown. But I really don't want to fight against them. Are you kidding me? He was still... Okay. Never mind, Saiken. It is what it is. Kill. Kill. Kill them all. 
kill, kill, kill them all. Not sure if that's a good idea, buddy, because they are your friends. All are your friends. Okay, that looks like the first Mimic Beacon next turn. Easy peasy. Getting those flanking angles. Shot. I... Yeah. Maybe I'll just wait and see what we can do without any issues here. Trace arounds. Well, that is. An awkwardly convenient option to kill, but I don't think we want to do that yet. Well, the killing, of course, but hitting him. Moving over here, unfortunately, we're slightly injured at this point. to use the Mimic Beacon. There's a good uh, chance to hit, but the blue screen rounds would be highly efficient, so I don't really want to waste them. We're going to Overwatch and let's just put on the Beacon. I was somewhat hoping to get um, the the stun answer, but that was a bit of a futile effort. And we're now having a stun lancer on the loose, and lance is gonna lance and is stunning us. Well. Really could have guessed that. Because lancers always are going to lance. Copy that. Moving up here for better percentages to hit. And this is the blue screen round bonus I was talking about. One shot down. Air trigger makes it even sweeter. approach that I think we're going to flank him and we got nice got another head trigger okay perfect well that was easily uh, easy enough Evert begins to work on our target And one of the other options which we could do is get better aiming angles down here. That's still high ground, but it is full cover. Oh, which... All right, last turn. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost 
completed the transfer. This is your last chance. That's the kill. Menace one five with confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. This is me greeting. Ah, hair trigger decent. Not perfect, but decent. Moving a bit up and getting that extra high ground position up here. Reload Overwatch. Good. We still got our heavy, uh, heavy weapons, which we haven't used at all. Maybe now is a good time, who knows? Tell you that Viper is asking for trouble. Teamwork over for another flanking shot. Moves up here, that's Overwatch, and Divad, I think if we put him here, that would be good as well. Full cover, has the lowest hit points, we're Overwatching yet again. If that guy moves, there's a good chance we're going to kill him. Okay, our Overwatch works just as well as it always have, has worked. Great. Great. Alright, reloading. Can we reload? No. We can basically do one thing, which is hunker down. of 90% shots but somehow they are not really working out Lots of reloading and overwatching. Gotta be careful here on this side. I want to make sure we're not too isolated. Okay, got a nice fire line going for us. bit further away from the fire please got it covered Affirmative. covering now Scanning. i am halfway assuming that there will be someone stepping up come, get come on there's one more pack and potentially it's a beefy one it's always a beefy one, it's the one that is protecting the parameter. Alright, I got another appointment coming up, so this is a natural break for me. For you, uh, will be no time left in between uh, this. Thank you for watching so far. And I'll be back in a bit.
Hey, back in business. So, that is what happens when you do have a full day and you just got to get everything done. Squeezing those little game moments in. And Diva position spec here. So we're still trying to catch that last pack somehow. Not sure what we're up against, but we have explosives left over, so might as well use them. Can't really see uh, see anything. I was hoping we would be able to spot them through here. Typically, the last pack, uh, once you destroy the parameter, is just going to go to the uh, to the mission target and we'll camp it and then roam around nothing of the likes is happening okay well back up here and Roby since he has the most hit points and armor would be the natural fit to go in next okay Still nothing. It almost seems like they are camping out of line of sight, just kind of barely out of line of sight. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. The pack must get must have gotten stuck somewhere. This is really atypical behavior. Okay, moving into full cover. It's a good time to motor up. We're still keeping some high ground. I want to make sure that we're not uh, that we're not uh, being caught with our pants completely down. All right, the trigger. That is surprising. Okay. Take the high ground here and then kind of develop a better position from uh, from there. It is important though to keep our rookies together. And as always, right? The moment that you are starting to move, the AI knows what's up and will start to punish you for it. Hilarious. Remember how I said we don't want to be caught with our pants down? That's exactly what happened. Okay, so the sort of curiosity launcher could hit both of these guys and could certainly still do that if we were to be positioned uh, up here. Yeah, I guess I guess that would work. Okay, fair enough. Let's get rid of all of the cover. Nice shredding. Fantastic. I like it. Full cover. Getting closer. And let's execute these. Stupid, stupid mutants. We still got a mimic beacon. So that's good.
with a mimic beacon i can deliberately play aggressive there is no point in denying uh, that's a very strong option that is not good. well here we go Yeah, Shadowbound on the Mimic Beacon, that won't work. But that won't work either. Alright, interesting positioning here. First of all, I need to get the Mutant down. Moving over here. Solid miss. Uh, that's a problem. Moving over here. Continue to arrest the mutant. And it finally pays off. Okay, cool. Beautiful critical strike. It might drop some some loot Enemy destroyed. and we want uh, the corpse of course which is why i didn't uh, blow to smithereens excellent very good good so let's see lots of wounding okay Codex Brain, Hair Trigger, and quite a few corpses. Great. Hello, we got an Engineer, and we um, prevented Viper Rounds, which would have been a horrible, horrible uh, dark event. So that's good. That is good. Clearing the machinery, even better. Got a new Engineer, and off we go. There's Intel. I still want to finish the loot. I also got to get additional intel, but let's get the loot and then afterwards we're really focusing on intel. We have made a number of new discoveries. All right, Elarium done. Great. Instant uh, um, stun monster autopsy. That gives us arc blade. Not that we will need it. And here it's one day for a data pad. I think we're going to do that. The inspired uh, version gives us some extra uh, research and that will solve our info problem, which in return will help us to make contact. Let's get another data pad, I think, so that we can instantly make contact. Afterwards, we're going for um, for the rifles because that's the next upgrade. Good plasma rifle, no question. Oh, it must be the next upgrade. And we're continuing with the sorted loot. Superior hair trigger. That is great. Advanced conditioning would have been cool as well. And a data pad. That's really good. I like it. I like all of it. Uh, with the exception of not having enough contacts. That's a problem. Your Templar friends are no different than countless other species. Uh, supplies are a bit short. Supply drop seven days. We can wait with that. So let's continue with the Intel. As we need more of it. And I would like to get plus one contacts. All right, power relay. That's an important milestone. We finally can get rid of one engineer here. Upgrade the power relay for two additional uh, energy. And 
put the engineers to work like we intended to do it beforehand. So a lot of clearing of alien debris happening. Five engineers are doing nothing but that. Good, we got a Psylab going. Put an engineer in there, uh, but we need money to train soldiers. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. And what are we going to do? Advanced stock. Hmm. It's really good. I don't want to sell that. Let's sell a couple of the alloys. Humex. And I think this should do for now. Let's recruit. Commander. Our ring facility and we're recruiting we the soldiers to spare. We should deploy them Tina Davis and Paul this. Robinson, two random rookies, because they will not play an important role. Uh, Tina Davis, yes, please. If we were to upgrade it, we don't have uh, the Illyrium crystals, right? No, we don't. Okay, well, I'm even asking if we need two or if one rookie isn't enough because we just need one rookie for the uh, for the upgrade so one rookie it is for now and back to Seven gathering intel we got another rookie as a soldier so that's not a problem battlefield medicine great fantastic Okay, so we are continuing. And there is a next mission. Fantastic. 110 intel. That's so good. And the scientist is so good. And rookie, which is not so good, but uh, still good. So that is great. I love it. Uh, let's do this mission right away. Uh, and we're just fighting against the hordes. So that's one of the missions where we can... Uh, outright shine anyways that's the end of today's episode guys if you enjoyed it um, please leave a comment and a like down below and we see each other in our next episode bye bye